checking out some Francis Ngono here. Okay. He's working on speed head movement, working on the jab. Uh, he's developing decent fundamentals. He's keeping his head up while he's working the jab, throws the right hand, cuffs the, 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 uh, the guard back up from his jab, protecting himself. Good body punching. Good left hook to the body overhand combination. Now they're working on defense. Okay. I think they should work more on uh, head movement, though, definitely. But Lacey's using it. He's still throwing his overhand right like he has different type gloves, meaning UFC gloves. Now he's in a southpaw stance. Okay, this is new. Maybe they're working on switch hitting because, you know, with the UFC, they do focus on fighting in di two different stances. So that's not uncommon. So he's implementing that into boxing. I think Francis Ngono should actually work the body more. He's a big, massive unit. I just wonder how his power is going to generate, you know, with one, two left hook. Good one twos. Overhand right left hook combination. Dude, he wants to kick that damn. <laughs> he wants to kick that that pad so bad. You can tell. He's looking down like that's what you're supposed to do. Now he's on the heavy bag. You know, Francis Ngona reminds me like of a bigger my Ika Barabucci, like just looking at his physique, you know. Nice. Yeah, though, now that's ripping shots. But I noticed the bag is different. He's punching a lot harder. So that's definitely something that you want to mention. You know, so a lot of times trainers can learn a lot from the way fighters, if you see fighters paw at the, at, at the bag, that means the bag is too heavy. They need to take some of that cushion or whatever the hell's in that bag, take it out. So the punch can be properly thrown and developed. Just showing him hit footage in the cage. He needs to be in a ring to know how the ropes feel, you know? Not the octagon. He needs to be somewhere in, in a boxing gym. That's what he really needs. Oh, he gets chin with this guy. Gets chin with a left hook with this guy. But the important thing is, I like how he attacks. He's not very slow. He's quick enough for a big guy to get his, get, you know, to get that speed generating. He's a big dude. You know, because, I mean, he, he's, like, massive. His arms are, like, massive, you know what I mean? So it's more like, you know, these arms, he's, you know, it's that's a job itself. And that's him training more. Okay. And that's crazy. I didn't record any of this shit. <laughs> so I will implement that in. Um, me counterpunching uh, Francis Ngonu. Uh, he knows how to train. Uh, it's just he has to get used to boxing training you know, and fundamentals. And he, you know, he's good. So he brings it back. So he keeps it up. I like that. And no, he's in, he's in hella shape. And I would suggest though, counter punch in this video. I would suggest that Francis Ngono fight someone else, fight someone, fight a Chaz Witherspoon or a Derek Chisor. You know, we heard about him fighting Derek Chisor. That would be good. 
You know, that that would be a very good fight for him, Derek Chisora, because Derek Chisora is an awesome gatekeeper because he's going to come at you with whatever he has. He's not going to just come up and show up to get a check. He's going to show up to check to see if you are who you are. If you got any bitch in you, Derek Chisora is going to see it. And, and if he sees it, he's going to exploit it. Okay, so yeah, but him fighting Tyson Fury right now, I wouldn't, I wouldn't go for that. I wouldn't take that fight right now unless he's getting massive amounts of money. But you know, nonetheless, I think you know he's learning. He's learning, and I think he has a lot to learn. I, I don't think again, you know, he should fight someone for the likes of Tyson. But you know, he definitely looks good. He definitely looks like he's training for something special. You guys tell me what you think about this counterpunch on Francis Ngono in the boxing uh, platform. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.